Well, it is lunchtime at the Niobrara County Extension Office, so we're going to make a quick stir fry that after the um, video is over, we're going to actually eat for lunch today. Stir fry is a quick and easy way to get a really good, nutritious and delicious meal. And one that, again, you can really use your imagination and create a new stir fry every time you um, make one. We're gonna be sending um, a kind of basic recipe on the website afterwards, plus a handout called Create a Stir Fry to give you lots of ideas of where to start. But then the sky is the limit. Today we were kind of cleaning out our refrigerator here at the extension office and we had little dabs of leftover veggies. And now during the good summer months, when we have all those fresh garden vegetables, it is a great time to use those in your stir fry. Come winter, they may not be as readily available, but at that point you can use um, frozen veggies just as well. So today we're gonna be cooking our stir fry in an electric skillet. And as you can see, I have prepped everything ahead of time. And that's what you need to do when um, you're going to make a stir fry, because stir fry is a very quick cooking method and you don't have time to put the first ingredient in, prepare the next ingredient. So you want everything prepared ahead of time and laid out so that all you have to do is just keep adding those ingredients to your skillet. So with that, um, the first instruction on your recipe was to cook your pasta ahead of time. And we've already done that, and you should too, so that it is ready to go into um, your skillet. We use thin, kind of almost angel hair, whole grain pasta today. And um, the reason for the thin, more angel hair-like pasta is again, it's gonna cook quicker in the skillet um, once we put it in with the other ingredients. We also recommend that you use whole grain pastas for um, adding a little more fiber to your diet and a few extra nutrients. So I don't think you'll really see a difference if you've not ever used whole, way, whole grain pastas they are really good flavored and they cook just like the white pasta does. So to start our stir fry, we're gonna turn our electric skillet on about kind of medium high. And while we're waiting for it to heat, we're gonna mix up our, our sauce, which consists of low sodium soy sauce, a third of a cup, two tablespoons of brown sugar, which we measured out ahead of time, and two cloves of garlic, finely minced. So, um, if you don't have cloves of garlic and you have the bottled garlic, that will work just as well. Just be sure to drain off any extra liquid that may be in that. So, it won't take long, the brown sugar dissolves and then our sauce is ready when we're ready to put that into our stir fry. So we want to start out, you're gonna need a little extra oil in your skillet. Um, so put a tablespoon of canola oil, vegetable oil, um, whatever kind of oil you might have. And we'll let that kind of heat up a little. And then we're going, today we're using pork. And we used a pork chop. And actually two pork chops was our pound of pork. And they recommend either pork chops or pork loin. And these were really um, lean and really, really nice pork chops. So you just cut those thin because you want them to cook really quickly. So we'll put those into our skillet 
and you can hear that our skillet is already heated up. And if you have a little um, fat on your pork chops, that's all right. It will just add a little flavor. I cut off, there was two pieces of fat on the ends of each of the pork chops. I cut that off, but you'll see that we have a few, a little bit of fat on these pork chops. You're gonna wanna cook it for about five minutes. So a stir fry usually consists of some sort of meat or protein. So today we're using pork, you could use chicken, you could use beef, you could use shrimp. Um, if you don't like meat, um, you can go the vegetarian route with tofu, but you have some protein source. And again, as we talked in our skillet class, this is a like Teflon coated skillet, so you want to be using a spoon that is not metal or a fork that's not metal to, to work in your skillet. Today, some of the vegetables we're going to be using are sugar snap peas out of our um, high tunnel. We are using some chopped up carrots, some red pepper, some green pepper, and just an onion. Some other um, really good things to put in a stir fry might be water chestnuts, um, asparagus, broccoli. You could even use cauliflower. So there's lots and lots of options for vegetables. Um, I have a one that I tend to add um, for something really sweet. Oh, pineapple is good. In fact, this recipe says we are to garnish this with pineapple or mango chunks. So um, some fruits go really well in stir fry. If you like green onions or um, purple onions better than white or yellow, those can work as well. And we'll turn down our skillet just a little. So kind of the sky's the limit. Um, you do, that's our second ingredient is fruits or vegetables. Um, then, Oftentimes you serve this over a bed of rice or a bed of pasta. And you can use all sorts of different pastas. Um, if you only have macaroni, that could work. On rice, you can use minute rice or long cooking rice, brown or white rice. Again, we encourage you to use the brown rice. Again, for more fiber and more nutrients. It is less refined than the white rice is. And as you can see, our pork is getting done. Just want to keep it moving around the skillet. With a stir fry, you usually do not put the lid on because you want it to cook quickly and um, you need to be able to stir it. And you do want the meat to brown. Yes. You want it to be good and brown before we add any of the rest of our ingredients because then it's going to go really quickly. Some of the suggestions on the Create a Stir Fry, um, if again you don't want the meat, you can use um, like dried beans that, like kidney beans that are in the can, or if you've prepared a batch of dry beans ahead of time, that can be your protein source. And maybe make a more um, Mexican flavored with, instead of soy sauce, um, maybe other sauce of some sort. They've also put cabbage, mushrooms, celery, uh, bean sprouts, zucchini, other summer squash. So if you have a garden, 
you can pretty much use anything that's in that garden to put in a stir fry. And in your sauce, um, instead of brown sugar, you can use honey, which we do fairly frequently at our house um, as a sweetener with that um, soy sauce. So again, the, the sky is the limit. Um, today we're not using salt because our soy sauce, even though it's reduced sodium, does have some salt in it. And, um, but you can use other herbs and spices that you'd like to create a different flavor. Some of these pieces of pork want to stick together today. So you want them browned on both sides. Sweet and sour sauce is one that I tend to keep at my, in my refrigerator that makes the cooking easy stir fry as well. And these strips of pork are so thin that um, we won't have to use our thermometer because they would be really hard to temp. So we know if they're good and brown on both sides, they're going to be um, to a high enough temperature. If I can get this one unstuck from each other. Other sauces, um, you can kind of make your own sauce with chicken broth and some thickening with cornstarch or beef broth. So oftentimes with what you have in your pantry at home, you can make a quick and easy meal. Uh, today, pork chops were on sale at our store. Um, for a dollar a pork chop. So you need, can kind of look for specials when you're shopping and get some meat ahead of time that may be on sale. And then you have it in your freezer and can just take it out and, and cut it up. Um, they say if your meat will cook or cut up a little better, if it is a little partially frozen, it will cut more evenly and um, easier, so. Okay, it looks like our meat is like done. So the next step is to um, add our peas and the peppers. We're gonna add all our veggies in and we're gonna cook this for three minutes. And it's gonna be very bright and colorful. And today we just diced I like to shred my carrots. Um, just a different, in three minutes, the carrot chunks will still be very firm. Um, so diced, they, or um, shredded. shredded, they cook a little faster. But that also adds to the um, stir fry that some of our veggies will be more done. Some will be less, so you'll have a variety of textures in your stir fry. In three minutes, we'll... So, once our three minutes is passed, we add um, our soy sauce mixture and we will cook it another three minutes. Um, this is a recipe from um, Iowa State Extension and um, their recipes are always very tasty and um, pretty economical. They say the cost for this one per serving is a dollar and 80 cents. So um, it's relatively inexpensive. And especially if you have a garden and, or have access to fresh 
fruits and veggies, or if you buy some of this on sale, your cost could even be less. And what a great way to use up our little dabs of vegetables from other um, creations that we have been making. So I think our cost was, has gone way down. We have $2 in our meat, and the rest is kind of pretty much all leftovers. So they say this will serve four to six people. So if you have a family, also it um, warms up fairly well. If you want it for like tonight for supper and lunch tomorrow. We're about at our three minutes. Um, it, when you get your create a stir fry handout, some of the spice combinations are on the bottom. They have Mexican, Italian, Asian, and a more savory um, one that's kind of like um, Thanksgiving dinner. Um, so, okay, that's our three minutes. So now we're going to put our sauce in. Make sure it's good and stirred up because the brown sugar is kind of heavy and it kind of likes to float to the bottom of your mixing bowl. So we'll just pour that in. Make sure you get it all. The Create a Cal uh, Stir Fry handout is from Utah State University Extension. So all extension offices have lots of valuable information that they can share. So um, if you're not in Wyoming, be sure to check out your local extension office for the other resources that they may have. So now we just kind of bring that to a boil and let it simmer for three minutes. And our peas are a beautiful bright green. When we put them in, they were kind of a dull green. And the red and the green pepper add lots of color and the carrots. So at the very end, we will stir our spaghetti in, or you could just serve the spaghetti and let each person put their spaghetti on their plate and then top it with the, um, with the stir fry. So that's kind of a personal preference. I think this would really be good over rice as well. And it's kind of got an oriental flavor to it, if you like oriental food. And some of the sauces, if you like thicker sauce, you can put a little cornstarch in this to thicken it up. This is a more runny sauce. And so... Um, Your pasta will soak up a lot of the sauce. Yeah, that's one thing with putting the salt, uh, pasta right into your skillet. It will soak up a lot of this good, good sauce. And we've got about one more minute to go on this, and then our meal will be complete. And this smells amazing. I wish we could when we're cooking dishes to share with everybody, I wish we could figure out a way to send you all the delicious aromas. It does make you wanna um, cook
cook from scratch more often when you smell how delicious this is. And hopefully through all our videos, we're encouraging more um, from scratch cooking, which is better for your health and better for your pocketbook. So, all right, with that, our three minutes is up. We will put in our pasta. So as you can see, this makes a big skillet full and there'll be lots big servings and probably some seconds. There's only three of us here at work today, so we're going to get plenty to eat for lunch and probably enough left over for tomorrow's lunch. And as you can see, that pasta is starting to absorb some of that sauce. And if you'd want to cut the pasta in half or break it in half before you cook it, it, it will help mix better. And we're losing pasta out the side here. So with that, I hope you'll enjoy creating a stir fry at your house and coming up with your signature dish of, of all the things that you would put into a stir fry at, from your favorite tastes and likes. So with that, we're going to sign off for today and we'll see you another day.